All right, guys, welcome back. So the MPG test continues, but now we got a new plow on the truck. Check it out. Uh, Fisher XLS, uh, eight to 10 foot plow, all stainless steel. To go on a stainless steel colored truck, well, the truck's silver, and uh, the plow's stainless steel, so it looks real nice. Uh, I am going to head home now. But the rest of this MPG test is basically going to be an MPG test with a plow on a truck. So, uh, see you guys when we hit the road. Alright, we are just getting started here and uh, we're at 10.6 pounds to the gallon. We'll see what happens to that though on the way home. Uh, I'm gonna think maybe I should reset it. I don't know. Trip 1. Let's see if I can go to trip 2. We'll reset trip 2. And we'll see what the MPG is uh, driving home. But anyway, guys, see you once we hit the road. All right, driving on uh, I-75 here and just crossed back over into Michigan. And actually doing pretty good on MPG. We're losing about 65 because we got the plow on here. But we're getting 12 miles to the gallon. We're getting 12 miles to the gallon, so not that much different than uh, what we got without the plow. So I guess that's where the 430 gears come to play. Uh, I got my mom back there. She's following me. So you can see her in her little car back there. But uh, she's back there. She's following behind and uh, we're just cruising along. So uh, I'm gonna keep this ride going. Uh, the truck handles the truck handles the weight really well. It definitely feels better than the old truck did. It got a thousand pounds on the front. And uh, the 430 gears, it feels a lot more effortless than it did with the 3.7. So, you know, I think the 430 gears might work out nice because this is a work truck. So, anyway, guys, you at the gas station. All right, here at the gas station, filling up the truck. And we are at $27.13.6 gallons. And we're going to go ahead and give it one more squeeze. All right. Now I couldn't get pump 15 again. It's so busy here, but uh, same pump, same gas station, pump number two. Uh, so 13.7 gallons. But more importantly, let's take a look at what the computer says inside of the truck. Um, uh, inside of the truck here, it's pretty interesting. So you would think that with the plow on the truck, we get significantly lower MPG, but that is not the case. We got 12.8 miles to gallon on the way back, 77 miles. It took us an hour and 22 minutes. Uh, on the way there, we got 11.6, but there was a lot of idling in the middle when they were showing me, you know, everything with the plow and you know there's probably some idling and installing the plow and then we kind of sat there for a few minutes and i filmed when the truck was running and i left the truck running here and there for maybe 10 or 15 minutes but um yeah it definitely has some lower numbers there for the whole entire trip 158 miles it says 11.6 and the reason for that is like i said the truck was running in between uh, getting a plow salt and everything but what's really impressive is we got 12.8 on the way back and I think the reason is is our speed was not as high uh, I traveled about 65 miles per hour I touched 70 a few times and uh, you know I really wasn't going quite as fast but those 430 gears clearly helps out a lot when it comes to actually hauling you know weight that plow up front uh, the Fisher plow is about a thousand pounds hanging off the front. Here's how the front camera looks, by the way. I'm wondering if I can relocate this camera so it's actually functioning, but uh, still pretty cool. Um, but anyway, uh, that pretty much concludes the video. I'm going to put some shots of uh, the truck here so you guys can see how it looks. So I'll see you guys at the house. All right, guys. So here is the truck made it home. And I want to talk about the drive home and how it went. So pretty interesting. The MPG was about the same as it was going without the plow. 
and that really goes to show where the 430 gears come into play now i don't know if the wind was at my back or anything like that i know my speed was a little bit slower with the plow obviously uh you know i try to keep it under 65 miles per hour uh driving with the plow i don't really like pushing 70 75 but i did touch 70 a few times i did not go over 70 i mean and i mean i barely touched it and kind of backed off of it um driving there i touched 75 a couple times but for the most part i did 70 and to be honest the mpg was better coming home than it was going uh without the plow so i guess that's where the the gears come in play and uh definitely happy with it because that is mainly what this truck's gonna be doing it's gonna be pushing snow it's gonna be working and it's going to be towing a trailer most of the miles that it goes that it drives and i'm hoping that the 430 gears are more efficient around town compared to on the highway anyway because i barely do any highway driving but with that said the 430s do drive great i like them i like how they feel driving around town on the highway there's really just the way it feels it doesn't feel negative at all it doesn't feel like the engine screaming at all but you know once you reach a certain point you notice if you look at the uh mpg ratings that it just drops off once you hit a certain speed it just kind of crashes as far as mpg is concerned but if you keep it at like 55 60 it's not too terrible uh so in the future with the truck i'm going to reinstall that air dam down there because i don't think it looks very clean when it's just kind of like this exposed metal edge right there i'm going to reinstall that air dam but i'm going to trim it real nice to go around the uh plow hookup and uh try to do my best to make it look real nice um so that will be coming up uh but yeah how do, what do you guys think about the stainless steel plow uh stainless steel plow silver truck silver chrome i think it looks really good uh we got the upgraded wheels there too the aluminum cast aluminum wheels those are good we got continental tires i kind of wish i upgraded the tires now that i look at it but these should be okay uh we'll see how they go if they don't work out good if i don't like them i'll probably put some new tires on it and just save these for the summer but uh, while I got you guys on here, let me just give you a quick tour. I don't know if I showed you really too much in the inside of the truck. Uh, we did box link, no lighting. Uh, kind of wish I did the lighting because it's only like a hundred bucks, but I guess it's just those two little lights there. You still got the light up there. I got a camera looking down in the bed, which is cool. There's my air dam. Gonna trim that up. Uh, no step. I should have did a step. I should have did a, a, a step to get into bed easier because it's pretty high, but it is what it is uh one thing that is pretty cool that i ordered on the truck is the mud flaps for mud flaps they seem to be working pretty good and uh it's keeping the back side of the truck pretty clean and also did liners these are the ford liners and it just saves me a lot of time uh saves me a lot of time from installing all this stuff where and just getting it from the factory it's already there it's already in and i don't have to do it myself uh let's see what else we got here the front liners we also have and i really need to show this because when you order these you can't see them you don't know what you're getting so i want to show those off uh again mud flaps on all four corners uh and some of the features on the inside of the truck let's swing around to the other side some of the features on the inside of the truck that's pretty cool with the xl um we have sync 3 so in here we have a uh, ford sync connect it allows me to uh use ford pass and start the vehicle remotely from anywhere and it also gives me the full screen now it doesn't give me navigation or anything it's still an xl pickup but it does give me um google carplay or apple play or whatever you call it you can hook up your phone and have android auto if i really want to have a map in here i can put a map i can put a map in here using the android auto either through bluetooth or through a usb cord so that's kind of cool um and what else can i do like it's kind of weird because it doesn't have the map in it so it's missing like a button but it does have a pretty decent little bluetooth setup it has uh 
what else full screen like i said and also one thing that's cool that also has is the camera package so i have the 360 degree camera um which is nice there's the front of the plow Let's see if you can see it move so i don't know how useful that angle is here's the thing with the plow it will hit that little handle see if you can see you probably can't see that close but the plow can hurt itself if you run it the wrong way but uh, shows the whole camera Let's see here you can expand this this is cool on the 250s that you don't get on the 150s you can really select your cameras a lot more and then you can look down into your bed if you're doing like gooseneck towing so that's pretty cool then you can also add an auxiliary camera which we obviously don't have an auxiliary camera but pretty cool stuff um, electronic shift on the fly of course I think that's standard nowadays uh, plug right there but pretty cool little setup trailer brake gotta have that um, yeah that's pretty much the main feature obviously a key cab but yeah that's pretty much it for the truck and that's it for the MPG test thank you guys for watching and hope to hear from you soon